What's up everyone, and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial video. Today, we are going to be looking at jukeboxes, making an automated jukebox as well as a multi-selection jukebox. These are super duper easy to build and super duper cheap, so you just start off by placing a dropper facing up like so, and then you crouch and place another dropper right on top of it like so, and then you still crouch and place this hopper going into this bottom dropper. And, still crouching, you place a jukebox on top of this hopper. And for the basic design, it is done. Um, this really isn't, isn't too complicated. You know, so from here, you can just put your discs in this top dropper here. You can put, you know, one or you can put nine. Uh, then you can just stick a button on the side. And when you press the button, it will start playing a song. Uh, when the song is finished playing, the hopper will take the song out of the jukebox and put it into this bottom dropper. And when you press the button to get a new song, it will move, you know, the, the disc from the bottom dropper into the top one. Uh, super basic um, idea, super nice, super easy. Uh, to automate it is, is, is also just as easy. So same thing, you just place a dropper facing up, a dropper facing to the side, a hopper going into this bottom dropper, and a jukebox on top. Um, but this time you put a comparator on this bottom dropper, and then you take a solid block of any kind and put it there with a torch on top, and then a repeater and two pieces of redstone dust. And so now, um, once you put your discs in there, um, when the jukebox is playing, it sends a signal, which locks the bottom hopper. But if it's not playing, then it's not sending a signal, so the hopper is unlocked. So when it stops playing, the disc will automatically get taken out of the player and then get shoved into the droppers, which will then trigger a new disc to be inserted. And yeah, it will just keep playing forever and ever and ever and ever. Even if it gets unloaded and reloaded, um, in my experience, the, the, the disc always triggers it. Um, now, alternatively, you can go for like a semi-automatic. You can do like uh, the same sort of configuration uh, with a hopper and then a jukebox. Um, and then the solid block with the torch. This just ensures that you can put one disc in there and it'll keep looping without skipping or any weird stuff um, it, so that both of the droppers activate consistently. Uh, but you can run this out to like a pressure plate at the door of your base. So like every time you come home, it plays one song or plays one random song, but then turns off, you know, it doesn't keep playing forever. Um, so really it's just, you know, if you want like a manual one, or if you want an automated one that never stops, or if you want one that turns on at a certain time, um, they're all super duper easy to build. Then one more thing I want to touch on before I show you the design that I have for a multi-selection jukebox, is that each song has a different strength output. Um, so like right here, Pig Step has like a strength of... I forgot exactly what they are, but it, but it has a really high strength, whereas this one has like a lower strength, see, like, and so, and so you can use this as like a randomizer um, of sorts, see, like it will give you a different random output, you know, each time, like if you build the uh, fully automated one, or even like the semi-automated one, or even the manual one, you know, that either way the jukebox gives you a different output each time. You know, that's just interesting food for thought. Uh, but now the very, very final one. Uh, so this this one's kind of silly, uh, but like I don't think there's any other way to actually do this where like if you want to choose what song you play, um, this is how you would do it. Is you would just build multiple jukeboxes and you can do as many as you want to. I'm just gonna do four really quick to make it simple. Uh, but the same basic design, you know, two droppers, a uh, jukebox on top of a hopper going into the bottom one. Uh, but the wiring, uh, you go to the other side of the jukebox and you're going to need like a solid block, some repeaters, a button. Um, and you put your solid block here, your torches on top, uh, then some re repeaters down here. 
And then some decorative solid blocks of your choice right here. So this side is going to be your song selection side. So on the top block, you, you add your, your labels of some kind, like this is this disc, this is that disc. Um, you can also use item frames. Uh, let me let me grab an item frame. That would probably look a whole lot better. Um, let's take some item frames here. So then um, once you get your labels done, you know, you can put like pig step here, install here. Um, you put these buttons on the bottom, and so that will start the song. And then you load the corresponding song. So we want to put pig step in this one. I mean, you can put them into any of them, either dropper or the hopper. Uh, put stall there. We'll put, uh, what is this? Strad. We'll put strad in there, and we'll put, uh, whatever that one was in that one. And so now, whenever you press one of these buttons, it will start the corresponding song. So if you want to listen to Stall, I think that's what this one is, uh, it'll start playing it when you press that button. Uh, now there's no way to make it stop playing. Uh, even if you cover it up with a block, you still hear it. Um, if you move the hopper, that doesn't matter. So like, you can use this as a remix station, um, but to stop it, you have to take them out by hand, and then they can get stuck on the top like this. So all in all, I would recommend this this middle one. You know, it's it's small, it's nice, it's simple, and it's fully automatic. You know, you can put up to nine discs in there, and it will just keep playing forever and ever and ever and ever. Um, and also make sure to put all the discs in the top dropper. If you put um, more than one disc in the bottom dropper like this, then it'll it'll stay powered on. And uh, that would be bad. It won't trigger the, the loading and unloading. So the, the, that's also why you can only have nine discs uh, in the system. But, you know, as long as you have nine discs, it will keep playing forever and ever and ever. And you can spread music throughout the land. And yeah, you know, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, if you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more adventures. Until then, as always, don't forget to have fun. Bye.